Our next guest debut novel, How I Paid for College, has been optioned by Columbia Pictures for a movie deal. Now, not satisfied with that kind of success, he wrote a sequel, The Attack of the Theater People. So we welcome back to AM Northwest, Mark Asita. Good to see you again. Good to see you. Yeah. It's great to be here. So I love this. This is a sequel to this. So tell us what happens to your main character. And it's Edward, right? Edward, yeah. And what happens here is he gets kicked out of uh, Juilliard for being two jazz hands for <laughs> Juilliard. <laughs> and then uh, gets uh, embroiled in a Wall Street trading, insider trading scandal. So uh -huh. he has to give the performance of his life. Now, now now this, this Edward character, it's, it's, is it you? Is this your story? You know, creating fictional characters is like making Frankenstein's monster. You take it out of spare body parts. So there are pieces of me in there, but just for the record, yeah, I, yeah, I am not a crook. But okay. were you, but, but, but were you not kicked out of out of? Uh, I, yeah, that I, that's true. Yeah, yes. and were you kicked out of school for right. jazz hands? Yeah, I, I was. No, I was kicked out over artistic differences. And what was that difference? I thought I could act. And <laughs> they, they, they did something, yeah, that's, yeah, that's a tough one. That's a yeah, tough one. That was hard. Yeah. You know, is it true that you were the guy who wore Capizio dance shoes and leg warmers to school? I still wear Capizio dance shoes and leg warmers. You got a problem with that, Helen? Okay. Just, okay. Just wondering. All right, yeah. <laughs> I would have worn them here today, but, you know, it was cold out. So. Well, we have a no flash dance. <laughs> jazz policy here Two the jazz hands for <laughs> Northwest. Yeah. It's, it's a bit much first thing in the morning for a lot of people. Uh, uh, so now this book, uh, uh, it's very funny, by the way. You, you start reading Thank the first you. page, you get to the middle of the end, you're laughing on every page. Thanks. Is you have it, excellent taste. Is, that, uh, <laughs> is this one of those books where, you know, I hear a lot of writers say, well, once you just start, it kind of writes itself. You know, the characters come alive and, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's becomes easier and easier because you know them so well. Is that true? I don't know. The morning TV thing I think I'm supposed to say is it was so much fun. No, it's hard. It's hard work. Is it hard work? Sweat blood. Yes, I caught up in a vein and poured on the page and out comes silliness. Yeah. I don't know. Deep down I must be very superficial. <laughs> I, I, so We mentioned that, that How I Paid for College has been optioned yes. for a movie. So what does that mean exactly? That someone's working on doing mm -hmm. a movie for you? Yes. Okay, uh, so... Hurry up and wait. Hurry up and wait. Yeah. yeah. So... As Jim Bosley would have said, who's going to play you in the movie? Do you know who I want to see play me in the who? movie? David Archuleta. Oh, from American yeah. Idol. Really? <laughs> so you want a 17-year-old to play you? <laughs> That'd be great. That's yeah. Isn't he like, really? seven, That's isn't he like 17? Yeah. 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 Seriously, I've been on the phone with it. the producer. The producer is Laura Ziskin, who is the producer of the Spider-Man movies. And I've been dead oh, serious. I've said, are you watching this kid? Yeah. Be because I think one of the movies... Did you blink a lot in high school, too? Blink a lot? And oh, yeah. He does, he, does he blink he does, a lot? Yeah. 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 Andrew Lloyd Webber was on his case about that last yeah. night. Uh, I have to notice. He, he said, yeah, you have to open your, your eyes, eyes when you sing. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's nervous. But can he act? Or does he have the same I don't know, but he artistic has difference you have with probably yeah. yeah no but he has the right quality you know and the kid can sing and these are these this is a book uh, both of these books attack the theater people and how i paid for college are books about kids who burst into song mm -hmm. you know as a matter of fact i just went to new york and did a little bit of guerrilla theater myself with a bunch of my facebook friends yeah uh, and uh, we created some music theater disturbances in uh, times square which you can see on my website. Go to marcusito.com. Okay. Well, now, you can see that. T tonight, when you're, you're going to be over at the Baghdad Theater, we'll tell folks about it. But, but you're going to do something. I've not heard of this before. We've had a lot of authors on. But you're going to do a uh, uh, teach people how to write musicals. No. What are you going to do? No, it's a book singing. Actually. Book singing. Yeah, it's as actually opposed to signing. as a book as opposed to book okay. signing. It's actually Tuesday, April 29th. So it is uh, a, a week from yesterday. Yeah. Seven o'clock. What is a book singing? What are you doing? A book do? singing means that I will sing show tunes until your ears bleed. Basically. Really? Yeah. And, and yeah. you're going to have the little leg warmers and? No, I think I think I might have a little bit of dignity. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just a skosh. Just a little bit. Were your parents prepared for you? Did they? I mean, did you, do you come from parents who are musical? My parents are stranger than fiction, yes. In my family, if you open up the fridge and that light goes on, we don't eat. We do three minutes of audition material. <laughs> Uh, everybody's in theater in the family? Yeah, every, we're all we're two jazz hands for everything. Yeah, my, my dad's a Dixieland uh, musician. My mom's an artist, actually. She's a visual artist uh, uh -huh. here in Oregon. Are, so. but do, you, do you still have the performer bug? Because you, you know, they said you couldn't act. You're a terrific writer. Do you want to be on stage? Well, you know, that's the wonderful thing about writing a book about people who burst into song is people expect you to burst into song at the readings. So I just, it seemed natural. So now I, I bring a pianist along and I do a little show. It's like Mamma Mia, but without the mama. <laughs> 
just me. Just me. All right, is it true that your second cousin's to Sandra D? Is that really true? It, that is indeed true, yes. That's very funny. Yeah, look at me. I'm Sandra <laughs> D's cousin. Oh, there she is. Yeah. <laughs> Did you, have you ever met her? Did you ever... No, but I've been to her grave. Yeah. That was close. That never, was never. Close. And, and No, she wouldn't see us. She, she wouldn't want anything no. to do with us. Really? Actually. Two jazz hands? Yeah, I guess yeah. so. She was humiliated. One by quick little family. story. Attack of the Theater people, you and your partner had quite the experience when you went to see a show recently. Yes, we went to see we ha we went to see uh, uh, a streetcar named Desire at Artist Repertory Theater because uh, I have a play opening at Artist Repertory Theater in November, a play mm -hmm. called Holidays, which is a twisted Christmas comedy. And so I wanted to go to uh, ART, and we were at Streetcar Named Desire. And when Stanley Kowalski went to throw a plate, he missed, and it went flying out into the audience and hit my partner. Smack in the head. And you'll hear how his partner reacted if you go to uh, Baghdad Theater <laughs> on April 29th uh, for the book singing. Book singing. Uh, that'll be 7 o'clock. We've got the information on our website, too, at katu.com. Mark, Mark, thanks for coming yeah. in. We appreciate Good it, man. Well, thank you. It's a pleasure yeah. to have you here. Always a pleasure seeing you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.